Hello, and welcome to another Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church. I'm continuing a series of short Bible studies that are from the book of Matthew. We're in Matthew chapter 13. And uh, last week I did the beginning of the, of the chapter, and then a little bit after I skipped a part, because the first part was, the par was a parable, and the second part was the explanation of the parable. So now I'm picking up verse 10 through 17. And the disciples came to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? You know, they asked, they asked Jesus, Why are you talking in parables? Why don't you just go out and tell the people what you want? I mean, I personally would love to get an itinerary for every day from God, exactly what he wants me to do, <laughs> you know. So they asked him that. Verse 11, he answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it had is not been given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. You know, uh, at this time at least, while Jesus was walking the earth, it wasn't time for them to understand everything. Truthfully, if they really understood everything, maybe he wouldn't have been crucified, but... Jesus came specifically to die for our sin, to pay the price for my sin and your sin on the cross. That's one reason, but uh, the other is there were prophecies about it, that seeing they would not see. That's something we never want to be said about us. We need to, when we see things, we need to understand it, especially the Word of God. Verse 14, And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand. And seeing you will see, and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts in turn, so that I shall, should heal them. The biggest thing that we need to take away from this is do we hear and not understand do we have we let our hearts grow dull you know it says that our ears are hard of hearing that doesn't mean a literal uh, physical problem it means that they're not listening have you ever maybe not even talking about the bible talk how about as a kid you're growing up your mom tells you to do something are you listening or did it go in one ear, out the other? <laughs> you know. Sometimes people will say something to us and we aren't even listening. We need to make sure we're listening when God talks to us. We need to make sure we're listening when the Word of God is speaking to us. And so that I should heal them. You know, it says... Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn. So I should heal them, you know. To turn, that's another word for repent, which is turn around. Because when we really look into the Word of God, when we understand the message, it draws us. When we hear it, we do turn to the Lord. And repent. And then He'll do a work in our lives. It's unlike anything else that could ever happen to you. But blessed are your eyes, in verse 16, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For surely I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. You know, it's amazing to think about it, you know. The, uh, the entire Bible has been around my whole life. And your whole life, but there were there were thousands of years 
when God had only revealed a small part then a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more those prophets Jeremiah Isaiah all of them they never saw Jesus in the flesh they went to he heaven and they know him now but they desired to look on these things and then of course at this at that time these people were seeing Jesus in the flesh something that we've never seen either but we have the whole gospel we have the whole Bible the whole New Testament the epistles the revelation and everything we need for our spiritual life is there we don't need to look to others to uh, reinterpret it to give it a completely different meaning because the meaning is plain there are very few thi there's nothing about practical Christianity that is hard to understand in the Bible nothing about how, what we're supposed to do what we're not supposed to do how to be saved none of that is hard to understand there's some things like prophecies or that that can be hard to understand but not not what we need to know to live in this world I hope that this has been a blessing I'll see you next time God bless